Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no bull video. Today is something different. Recently I bought a uh, um, dash camera from um, uh, on, on the internet and um, it's one of the budget good brands for camera. Camera called V-Offer. It's uh, model 119 uh, version 3. The camera is right there let me show you uh, and it's currently recording because it's in a parking mode and um, when I want to install it I really want to hardwire it uh, into the car and I could not find any good useful guide how to do so so instead of walking you step by step um, how to hardwire it first of all I would like to describe why would you like to hardwire it in, in current case so uh, if you decide to go uh, with um, V offer I highly recommend it especially version 3 I put link down below where I got my, my camera uh, and it was quite uh, fast delivery as well uh, but this particular camera can record what they call parking mode what parking mode does it senses motion in the front of the car and start recording a couple of seconds before and after um, that period you can actually adjust in the camera settings um, so if you do not hardwire your camera you won't be able to record um, uh, parking mode and I think it's quite useful I just review my uh, months of uh, recent recordings and um, half of them were parking mode when people were walking in the front of the car or car reversing uh, honestly if you're not at the car and someone reverses into you um, there's no proof um, uh, for your insurance company how to find them and you will end up uh, paying uh, probably excess and losing your um, I know rating which basically bump your insurance price for later so it's a small price to pay uh, for something that uh, at least records 180 degrees at the front for almost any event that happened to car it's either car was moved or bumped or there's a motion in the front of the car so first of all when you buy a camera there will be a couple of options um, you need to buy it with uh, a regional hard wiring kit that kit will ensure uh, that you can hook it up for a recording in a parking mode. So uh, installation itself is quite straightforward. Uh, there's a couple of tricky bits and a couple of points to notice. First of all, I've got Kia Serata um, GT version, but most of the Serratas are the same. So when you look here, uh, around the camera there's a lot of sensors uh, as a, as a uh, light sensors and other sensors and there's a camera for lane assist so when you install camera uh, try to install it in between sensors and not obstructing any of those sensors so that's the how you fix camera and the windscreen then you can run your wire in my case I run my wire not sure if it's visible all the way to the roof and with camera with little key to kind of lift that uh, roof lining and you seal it all the way through to the pillar right when you come to the pillar that's most trickiest bit first of all you need to uh, unlock it at the bottom and on the top you will need to use screwdriver because it holds with a clip and the reason for that is there's a side airbag uh, inside there so when you install inside the pillar, first of all, make sure that your wire does not cover uh, the airbag in the pillar because in the event of um, accident, the airbag will deploy and will be held by that wire. So you need to pay attention not to cover uh, the airbag here. The second one is um, seal it all the way in. I, I, I put it on top, near the top pillar and go all the way down to the side box here and this cover can be easily taken out by hands right and I put wire all the way into the um, rubber seal for the door and then brought it all the way to a uh, fuse box and the fuse box uh, you will find um, that you can actually tap fuses and you tap one fuse 
to the uh, point where it always says uh, 12 volts from a battery. Um, and second tab uh, will be that one that only starts with ignition. So what's the reason for that? The reason for that is the one that always has 12 volts would ensure that in a parking mode car will record everything that is in the front uh, in event of uh, motion or um, um, someone bumping the car with a go uh, g-force activation um, the other one when you turn ignition on the recording will go from parking mode into normal recording driving mode uh, when you drive um, when you finish recording and you take the uh, SD card out you clearly will see because those the parking recordings will have a dash P at the end and those that drive the recordings will have just uh, your date stamp on it another thing that I would suggest to do when you buy a camera and again I put link down below um, where to get this camera from uh, I strongly suggest to buy GPS module for it GPS module will show your location on the map so in case um, police will stop you for speeding and you would like to prove that you did not speed in case you did not speed it's a good opportunity to show your entire journey or the period where you were stopped and prove that your speed was um, um, as marked so a couple of again important points to recoup first of all when you install camera on the windscreen uh, do not cover any sensors there then why I can go uh, on the top under under the roof all the way to the pillar uh, at the pillar uh, if you got a side um, airbag uh, unclip it on the bottom and then on the top you need a screwdriver to push to unclip it wire it on top of the uh, airbag without obstructing and bring all your wires on the side uh, and hook the side panel here it's easily pushed out and then uh, make sure that you tap well in your on your switch box um, if you'd like to know more or you have any other comments on installation or you would like to you know film me something else about the uh, webcam so not webcam the dash cam or perhaps about the car please let me know in the comments below Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, please feel free to subscribe, follow and uh, um, uh, enable all the notifications uh, on the channel. Until next time, Greg from Brisbane, Australia.